How's it going? Today I have another Lords of the Fallen video for you. This will be a boss guide on the Congregator of Flesh. So first things first, before I even get to the fight, for this you can use either the Radiant Weapon enchantment, or you can also use a Bleed enchantment or a Fire enchantment. I tested both the Radiant one and the Fire one, but the Radiant one did more damage than the Fire, so I suggest doing that. I'm not sure how good the bleed one is because I have a bleed weapon, so that proc can did a little bit of damage, so feel free to try that as well. My rule of thumb for dodging the hand is to dodge in the direction the hand is coming from. If it's coming from the left, dodge to the left. If the hand comes from the right, dodge to the right. Whenever I do this, I avoid it like 90% of the time. When I do the opposite, it's like 50-50, so... I recommend doing that. In terms of positioning, I have three options for my recommendation. Either directly in front of it, at a reasonable distance, on its right leg, on your left, or directly behind it. The reason for that is because there's three punchable attacks that can occur from each one of these regions. And in front of it, it'll do either a slam or a charge forward, which will leave it wide open. By its leg, it will reach around towards you and you can dodge it quite easily and then proceed to hit it. Being behind it will trigger a animation where it flops onto its back. This will leave it wide open, but also does a lot of damage if it hits you. So a bit risky, but has an equal amount of reward. For the back slam, I suggest running away rather than dodging. Sometimes when I dodge, it still hits me, so I recommend doing that as well. And also, whenever you see this thing jump, run away. Do not keep attacking. Do not dodge. Run back and get away from it. If it lands on you, it'll do a lot of damage. Even if you're kind of far away from it, but not too close, it will still hit you, so avoid that. A good indicator of this is it suddenly roaring. It will often jump right after that. Phase 2 doesn't really add all that much. Phase 2 is basically phase 1 with added effects to 3 attacks. 1 is where it sums down a bunch of dead bodies to spread decay everywhere. And if it touches you and you stand in a cloud, you will get hit with poison, so avoid it whenever it does that. It also has this wave attack too, where it sends out this like a black sludge. Dodge in either two ways, run around it, outside of it, or dodge into it and avoid the damage. Dodging into it can be a bit hit or miss, so I suggest trying to run around it if you can, but if you don't make it, try that. The wave and the charge are both provoked by being far away as well. Another thing to know is that inside of Umbral, there is one of those parasite things. I'm not sure what destroying it does, but I usually destroy it, and this time I didn't. And it still died, so I'm not sure if it really matters. So keep that in mind as well. The wave and the charge are both provoked by being far away as well. I beat this boss around like level 25 to 30, somewhere around there, so shouldn't be too hard, I would say. Took me like between five and ten tries, not all that much, so not too bad. And that's about it. It's helped you at all. Leave a like, sub for more comment sessions, give me thoughts, questions, suggestions, comment down below in our spawn. See ya.